to Morning Manna. Today is Tuesday, April the 17th, 2018, and this is episode 2749. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to this Tax Day Morning Manna edition. Today's episode is titled, The Affirmation. Stay tuned. As I've mentioned before in prior episodes, I have the wonderful privilege of being able to be a volunteer and serve with Life Church. Uh, That's life.church is their website. Uh, You can watch their services on Sundays on Facebook Live and YouTube Live. I actually stream those myself and uh, manage uh, a team on the YouTube uh, channel, and we love serving others. You can also watch church online at live.life.church. There are multiple live streams every day, seven days a week, and uh, they'll be a blessing to you. Um, We're just getting close to, actually it was week three of a new sermon series by Pastor Craig Rochelle called How Sweet the Sound, and they're telling the stories behind some of the great hymns of the faith. And this last weekend, the song that they gave the story, the backstory on, was called I'll Fly Away. And the message focused on a couple things. One thing, it focused on the promised return of the Lord Jesus Christ and how that should affect our lives. The other thing that it focused on that I found really inspiring and convicting to me, I must say, is the contrast he made between complacency and and urgency, complacency and urgency. He mentioned in that message that all too often and tragically, our default position in the world that we live in today is one of complacency rather than a sense of urgency, a sense of urgency that we should have realizing that life is not certain. You never know when somebody you love and care for their life will be over and their opportunity to receive Christ will be over. Or we don't think about the fact that Jesus said, behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me. This same Jesus that was taken away from you will so come again in like manner as you've seen him go. Jesus said, I go to prepare a place for you that where I am there, you may be also. He is coming again. And we need to be busy. We need to be engaged with the master's business. One of the passages of scripture that Pastor Craig shared was this one from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Now, in the end of that message, and I'm, what I'm sharing with you comes totally from that message. It is not original with me uh, by any shape or, or imagination, but I want to share with you, and I'm going to read this to you, uh, a, an amazing and inspiring affirmation that he brought at the end of that message. Now, you say, what's an affirmation? Well, an affirmation is the action or process of affirming something or being affirmed. It is a declaration. It is a statement. It is a proclamation. It is a pronouncement. And as I read this over you today, I want you to listen to it. Maybe go back and listen to this episode again. I've also posted it in my Facebook feed. So if you follow me on Facebook, you, you may have already seen it. But let me close by sharing this with you. Time is is short. My king is coming soon. Because eternity matters, I will give him my all. No regrets, no excuses, holding nothing back. With his help and by his power, I will leave no words unsaid, no deeds undone, no hope unshared. My faith moves mountains, my prayers calm storms, my words give life. My hands bring healing, my feet 
deliver the good news that Christ is risen and he is coming again. God's word is a lamp directing my steps. His spirit is my power. When I'm weak, he makes me strong. Because Christ is coming, I will not back down, sell out, or be pushed around. My life is too valuable. My calling too great. My God too good to waste my life on things that don't last. I am powered by God's spirit, trained by his word, tried by fire. My name is written in his book. My life belongs to him. Because my life is not my own and earth is not my home, I will live for the glory of God and not for the applause of people. I am strong in the Lord and his mighty power to do his will on earth as it is in heaven. Because Christ lives in me, trials will not stop me. People cannot break me. Money cannot buy me. Haters cannot silence me. Demons cannot defeat me. Time is short. My king is coming soon. Because eternity matters, I will give him my all. No regrets. No excuses. Holding nothing back. With his help and by his power, I will leave no words unsaid, no deeds undone, no hope unshared, because my King is coming soon. Father, thank you so much. I make that my affirmation today. Lord, help me to live by that word, to not be one given to complacency, but one living on purpose, on mission, with a sense of urgency for our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. In his name we pray. Amen. Our website is morningmana.com. You can listen to all of the episodes there. In fact, if you go to morningmana.com, there's a player right there at the top. You can scroll through all the episodes or you can scroll down the page and pick out episodes that you would want to listen to. My email address is bruceturner at gmail.com. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.